So let's have a look and see actually yeah. what's going on Move in there. Caroline's work. She's always going to pop easily. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling encouraged already. Yeah. So if they want future grandchildren to be able to sit on him, before we do anything, we're going to have to reinforce all of this as well before we start doing anything. But definitely, this is the worst bit. Yeah. He has got some fur. Yeah. So I think if we get a nice matching fabric, we might have to dye it and age it and do all sorts of tricks, but we can get it to match and then really thin it down and pluck it so that it looks just slightly worn on the top. Amanda can now begin dyeing the mohair patch to blend in with horse's existing coat. I've washed this piece and so now it's ready to go into my tea. I've got here a really good, strong brew of tea. I find that tea gives a more yellow tone. Sometimes we use coffee, sometimes we use a mixture. It just depends and I think it's um, with experience, your eye tells you which, way, which one to use. Um, and I'm just going to pop it in there, make sure that it's totally submerged, and then, um, yeah, wait for the magic to happen. The fur may now be the right shade, but it's rather to her suit for horse. If I were to offer this up to horse here, you can see that it, it just wouldn't look appropriate. Yeah, it just looks like he's got a bad wig on. That's the way I describe it. If we were to start to shave this, sometimes you get a spikiness to it. It looks like stubble. By reversing the fabric this way, we use the suede brush like this, and if you brush really hard, like this, you can see that the fur starts to come through from this side to this side, but obviously in a thinner way. Also, if I want some really nice clumpy bits, I use a very fine crochet hook. It's a bit like the old hairdresser's highlighting cap. And um, I'll just go in like this and pull pieces through like that. So it's, it's very time consuming and it's got to be done properly to get, to get that authentic look. With the mohair realistically sparse, Julie and Amanda now need to age the fur to mimic the rest of horse's near 70-year-old coat. We do have to build up the layers very gradually and very slowly, partly because that's how the original dirt would have built up on horse in the first place. Whenever I come to your bench, it always takes me right back to my childhood. Oh. Fluffy times. This is the aging process, then? Yes, yeah. And how are you getting this colour? What, what, is that your potion there? Yeah, I've got really good, strong brew in there. <laughs> is it? What do you mean, <laughs> brew? <laughs> Was it really tea? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, yes, as well. So that's your, <laughs> that's your stain? Yeah, so I use so that. Tea. A little bit of turmeric. OK. Goes in there. Yeah. And I've been up one of the houses up there and I've stolen some soot. I should do. And I've been working that in as well to get the sort of greyness. And um, I'm just sort of playing with it now. And you can see we're getting... I'm with you. So you're trying to get these that colour... Yeah. ..the same as something on there. And obviously yeah. you don't want it to look brand new, then it just stand out like a sort yeah. of farm. You see, what I want to say, just for the record, it is kind of like child's play what you do. Like, it's a lot <laughs> yeah. But what yeah. you're doing, the level of craftsmanship that you do, is not child's play. That as well, I'm going to have to nick that idea. You Stay like that. Tea. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> While Julie finishes ageing the mohair patch, Amanda gets the rest of horse groomed. I'm going to start off with a, a, just a very gentle vacuum to get rid of the old dust and stuff that's in him. After a quick vacuum, it's time for a bath. Using just literally the bubbles, I'm going to lay them gently onto the fur like this. You can actually see, as you're doing this, the kind of shine coming back onto the fur. So, once I finish this process, we will make sure that he's nice and dry, and then we'll be able to start the really exciting bit of putting him all back together. 